Hi guys! In this video, you can see the top 10 places to visit in Tunisia. So before we get started, make sure to hit the like the button and also subscribe to our channel. Often seen as simply a beach destination, Tunisia has a bucket full of surprising tourist attractions and things to do for those that venture off the sandy shores. There are alleyways of pastel-washed houses and crowded silk streets to explore in the cities, ancient ruins to discover out in the countryside, and the vast desert expanse of the Sahara to the south with its sweeping dunes, craggy mountains, and hidden, palm-tree-filled oases. Tunisia was Rome's breadbasket, and the cultural riches the Romans left behind are more than enough reason to visit. But the history of Arab empires has also bestowed the country with some of the region's most beautiful examples of Islamic architecture. Discover where to go and what to see in this diverse country with our list of the top tourist attractions and places to visit. In Tunisia, 1. El Gem Amphitheater The walls of the mighty Roman amphitheater of El Gem dwarf the surrounding modern town. This incredibly well-preserved Roman relic is Tunisia's big sightseeing highlight, one of the most popular things to do on day trips from the coastal resorts, and one of the best examples of amphitheater architecture left standing in the world. The monumental bulk of the walls are a reminder of Rome's once mighty grip across North Africa. You can still walk the corridors under the arena, just like the gladiators did, or climb up to the top seating tiers and sit staring across the arena. 2. Jerba if you're looking for the picture-perfect beach escape, then the island of Jerba checks all the right boxes. The island town of Hamsuk is the main point of interest off the beach, with an old town district that is a muddle of whitewashed houses. Hamsuk's shopping is an attraction in itself, with plenty of handicraft vendors for browsing and haggling. Opportunities off the beach But it's those sandy strips of shoreline out of town that are the island's most popular highlight. Pristine and trimmed by date palms, the beaches are relaxing, get away from it all settings where summer daydreams are made. 3. Tumis Medina Although Tunisia's capital is mostly visited to view the two major tourist attractions of Carthage and the Bardo Museum, the Medina district of central Tunis is well worth spending an extra night in the city for. The winding alleys of this old town neighborhood, with their souks, shopping streets, mosques and monuments, are fun to explore. Don't miss visiting the rooftop of the Umayyad-era Olive Tree Mosque, the Medina's most famous landmark, while wandering the Medina, and make sure to seek out the clutch of small museums and restored dars, Medina mansions, hidden within narrow lanes. If you're sure on time, Dar Hussein Palace is the top pick. 4. Dilga Easily reached on a day trip from both the Tunisian, capital of Tunis, and the northern beach town of Taparka. Doka is one of the most important Roman sites in North Africa. The site is feted by travelers, both for the well-preserved state of its main monuments and its tranquil rural setting amid rolling countryside. It may seem far off the main routes today, but this expansive, hilltop site was once a thriving town, first settled in the 6th century BC, and today containing remnants left over from all its major historical eras, from Berber and Punic to Roman and Byzantine. The Roman-era ruins here are the grandest of Doga's monuments. Come here to admire the Roman theater forum and numerous temples with their pillars still raised in place, but don't forget to also explore the numerous bath complexes and remains of villas. 5. Saidi Bou Said Impossibly cute and amazingly photogenic, Saidi Bou Said is a cliff-top village of petite dimensions that seem to have fallen off an artist's canvas. Unsurprisingly, artists have feeded this little hamlet, now a high-class suburb of the capital Tunis, for decades. The whitewashed alleyways, wrought iron window frames, and colorful blue doors are Tunisian village architecture at their finest, while the Mediterranean backdrop is the cherry on top. This is a place to while away a lazy afternoon, simply soaking up the laid-back atmosphere and maybe indulging in a spot of shopping at one of the many local artisan and handicraft stalls. 6. Grand Erg Oriental Tunisia's vast Sahara covers much of the country's interior, and the most beautiful corner of the desert is the field of sand dunes known as the Grand Erg Oriental. These poetically beautiful dunes 
are a surreal and gorgeous landscape of huge waves, shaped by the ever-shifting desert sands. For many visitors, this is an adventure playground for riding dune buddies and canal treks, but nothing tops the simple pleasure of sitting atop one of these mammoth sand mountains and watching the sun set over the Sahara. The nearest center is the desert town of Dews, from where you can organize camel, hiking, and forward WD excursions and multi-day trips to the dunes. 7. Bula Regia Tunisia has no shortage of Roman ruins, but Bula Regia near Tabarka is the country's most interesting and intriguing site. Here, the Roman inhabitants cope with the harsh summer climate by ingeniously building their villas underground, which has left the city houses incredibly well-preserved today. For history lovers, this is a unique opportunity to walk through actual Roman houses, with their walls still intact and with some of the expansive floor mosaics still in situ. It's a glimpse of the residential life of the ancient world that you often don't see. 8. Tozer Tozer is a desert oasis town, sitting in the country's southeast. For many visitors, it's a practical base for the tourist attractions of the Sahara with the Chat al Jurid salt pans, sand dune vistas, and the oases of Tamirza and Chevaka, all within day-tripping distance from town. Tozer Town is an attraction within itself, though, rimmed by vast date palm gardens and home to an interesting Medina district, brimming with examples of the town's traditional decorative brick architecture. 9. Chad al Jurid This sprawling salt pan, most easily reached on a day trip from the desert town of Tozer, is a desolate and otherworldly scene that woes all who visit with its stark and brutal beauty. The scenery here depends on the season you visit. In summer, the moonscape surroundings of the Chat el Jirid are a storybook panorama brought to life, filled with shimmery mirages on the horizon and jigsaw puzzle pieces of blindingly white, cracked land underfoot. During winter, though, the basin partially fills with water, creating a bizarre lake amid the desolate surrounding desert plains. A sightseeing trip here proves that nature produces much weirder landscapes than you could ever imagine. 10. Hammamet Hammamet is all about the beach. This laid-back town on the Cap Bon Peninsula is Tunisia's top sun and sea resort, dedicated to easygoing beach vacations. The town itself, with its pretty white buildings set beside a bright blue sea, has bundles of Mediterranean charm, which woos all who come to sunbathe on the soft white sand. For many who come here, off-the-beach pursuits total up to nothing more strenuous than general strolls in the Medina, Old Town, and a spot of shopping in the restored Old Town Soaks. It's a no-stress kind of place that sums up the pleasures of Tunisia in one pretty package. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. Also subscribe to our channel before you go. Thank you for watching.